I'm home. But the gun is a bit of a turn off, isn't it? Ah, ah, ah. You don't want me to shoot you on your back now, do you? Who the hell are you? Munira Hussein. I'm with a special branch of the police force. I could shake your hand, but then again, the gun thing, you know? <laughs> you know, I always thought that they would send big men with big guns to come and get me when my Instead, they came. sent a tiny woman with a tiny gun. What's life without a few disappointments? So, what now? You've heard the rumors? They're true. You are going to be Mr. Opio's guest until you testify to your charges of treason. to make your confession yet? Oh. You know how much I don't like silent treatments, right? I'm bound to react negatively with 
beatings and scalding hot water showers and all. Do we really want that again for you? I'm just a force. Huh? I said, I'm just a part. Oh, Koti. Koti, my dear. Come, I want to show you something. Do you want me to say please, or do you want me to send the boys down with the batons? Koti, my dear. I'm sure you're familiar with your Marxist lecturer here, Dr. Nono, I believe. Takes you for constitutional law at the University of Nairobi School of Law. <coughs> yeah, by the disgusted look on your face, I can tell the two of you are well acquainted. He's the one who's been sharing the Marxist propagandas with you, right? Just say yes, then your life can go back to beautiful again. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever been to an execution, Koti? Horrendous and beautiful, <laughs> really beautiful. A gun is cocked, a trigger is pulled, and a bullet flies into a man's head and poof, goes off like a light. Would you like a demonstration? Or do you have a confession to make? I told you I am just a poet, you psycho. I recite poetry, that's all I do. What is wrong with you? I've told you that many times. No! No. No. If you confess to the charges of treason levied against you, we'll arraign you in court and you'll spend a few years in jail and then you'll be released. Or you could testify against another one of your lecturers. And I promise you, you will be released. You'll graduate top of your class and you're guaranteed a government job once you graduate. And if you don't, we'll take you down to old on your sabuk, kick you out of the car, and my guys will stand behind you with AK-47s ready to shoot. And I will say, run! <laughs> How far can you run, Koti? Until you're just another dead body out in the fields. Okay, okay. I'll confess, but only to Mr. Bill. That's not how it works. Look, you can get your confession, or else I'll just be another dead body out in the fields. The decision is yours to make.
I hear you will only confess to me. Is that an honor, or is it a waste of my time? If it was a waste of time... <coughs> then it suddenly... wouldn't be me. Shall we dispense with the games, then, and get on to it? This is a sheet of paper, which says you have been coerced by the University of Nairobi School of Law Dean, a Dr. Kamene, to write and recite poetry against the government of Kenya. Sign it. I would like to ask you on behalf of myself and all Kenyans to take this sheet of paper, roll it up in a nice ball, and shove it up your ass. <laughs> an execution. You don't want me to shoot you on your back now, do you? And my guys will stand behind you with AK-47 ready to shoot. Oh, 